New Mexico is at risk of having an uncontrollable coronavirus spread. That is the latest from the governor today from a news conference she delivered from home while in isolation. Here is News 13's Jackie Kent. Yeah, Dean, it's another week of seeing a big spike in cases, including almost 400 more confirmed cases announced today. New Mexico is below the target of a 5% test positivity rate, but the news came with a warning from the state's top doctor. That's an alarm bell that should be ringing loudly for all of you, because once we get over 5%, it's an indication that we really don't know how we're doing. That There are lots of cases out there that we probably are not capturing. For a second straight week, we're seeing an increase in hospitalizations with a 38% jump since October 1st. The state's seven day average of daily cases increased again to 233. That's well above the goal of 168. And now that many districts are returning to the classroom, we're also seeing more cases in schools, up to 157 cases in students and staff. The governor says it's clear people are traveling more than they should be. She's urging New Mexicans to avoid making more than three trips a day and to continue COVID safe practices at work. The governor adds we're at extreme risk of a quote uncontrollable spread, putting a strain on our health care workers and hospitals. We would be at risk of having to roll back uh, some of the introductions of risk like business um, uh, capacity and schools and related issues. And so she says families should also start changing Halloween plans. The CDC says traditional trick or treating, costume parties and haunted houses are too high risk for spreading the virus and that people should look for safer options to celebrate. Dean, back to you. All right, Jackie, thank you.